Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz, and welcome to a new series on the channel, In City Skylines, the city building simulator game. We're going to be playing on this custom map called Caldera, and we're going to be using all DLCs available for the game, as well as just a few mods. So this will kind of be like a Vanilla Plus Let's Play. And if you're excited for this, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Now then, before we get started, I always like to take a look at the map here and just kind of imagine how it's all going to turn out in the end. Like, what are we going to do with this city? I'm looking at it here, we have this really long beach line right up over here. So that looks like it could probably be either like a vacation thing or maybe like super rich people homes. Okay, got some cliffs there. That looks pretty cool. Nice beach here. All right, huge beach in here. And then this area looks like it should be like a main city area. It even has like a little inlet already pre-made into the map. So probably what we'll be doing around here. So overall then, perhaps we could have like a main city here, high-end luxury stuff over here. This area could maybe be like a vacation thing, industry over here, and then the rest of it. <laughs> I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But yeah, I have quite the ambitious plans for this city. And then just before we get started on some roads here, the last thing is to imagine how all of the highways are gonna look. So we're coming in right here. We want a district here, way down here, and this is a main city, so the highway has to connect up well here. So I'm thinking we have like a Triforce interchange with the highways right about here. Then it will split off this way, up over here, and a little bit further into the city. And that should be good. And with that in mind, I think we are ready to get started. So, we know the highway will eventually go out quite a bit this way. So we may as well just extend it a little bit. Bring it back like so. And with all the changes that will eventually happen here, I'm just going to do something simple and we're going to create a nice little roundabout. So since it can't be a perfect circle, half of it will be made like so. Then we'll just do the other half like so. And then connect it right up in the middle here. Fix the road directions and there we are. Now let's look at our immediate area here. Where do we go? Well, since we know this is going to be residential, I suppose down here can be our first industry area. We can of course change that all later. So we're going to want to have a road coming off of here. We'll probably want it being like a main road. So let's go start to figure things out. I think I want a road along here eventually. So a really important thing is to find your first straight road. Because I'm going to measure pretty much everything else off of that. And you know what? I think, I think that will do. Yeah, so if that's where our straight road's going to be, then we're going to want to have our main road a little further off here. There we go, and that's going to be our main road entering into the city. Maybe later on it'll be highway, who knows? But for now we're starting with that. Now we just need to connect it all nice and snugly to our roundabout. And we are rocking and rolling. And now in doing so, we're in a bit of a tricky situation with traffic. Because the only thing you really need to worry about in this game is managing traffic. And industry traffic is pretty crazy when it gets started. And we want to have that a little bit separated from the normal civilian traffic. So looking at this, we have one main road here. If we just went straight down this way from this main road, what's going to happen is all the trucks are going to try and turn left, blocking the outgoing cars and causing a huge traffic pileup. So let's try and think of an alternate solution here. And considering we have a roundabout, you know, this is kind of a crazy idea, especially right off the bat. But I'm thinking we have a lane that goes up from here and over and across on a bridge. 
And it's gonna look really crazy, for sure, but it will definitely make the traffic job a lot simpler here. So let's do that. So this is perfect. We have our one way going this way. This is gonna be where our truck traffic is. Just wanna make sure that we line it up with the highway, just for symmetry. Cause when you like back out way, way far, the nice symmetries look very good later on. And that is definitely working out. So with that done, we have our one way getting the trucks in here. Now our civilian traffic can kind of meet up with it. So it can come in just like so. There we go. And then the workers can get to where they need to be. And now when the trucks want to leave here, we have two options. We can either have them just go out right to the highway like so. So we can bring that like that, turn it around and they're out of here. Or we could have just made this a bit of a loop it could have reconnected to this road, and since it's on the right-hand lane, it's not going to cause as much of a traffic jam than all the trucks turning left and across the whole road. So either option would have worked. This one, obviously, is the one we're going with because it's a little cheaper and more convenient. Okay, so with that all uh, situated, all I have to do is a bit of gridding. We'll get the power and water in, and then our city can breathe its first breath. Okay, and our power and water is in and the road network is a little bit tidied up as well. So we have quite a few more roads all following the basic principles of keeping the industry and the civilian traffic kind of separated. And if we look at things here, I changed things around just a little bit. Again, it's all essentially the same, but what's going to happen is the civilian traffic is going to be forced in this way and the truck traffic is going to be forced in this way. And that's all. And then, what I plan on happening is when the civilians enter through here, uh, all of these roads are going towards the highway, so the civilians will be forced to use the back roads to get back home. And that way it just keeps things nice and organized. But with that, we are good to go. This is like the hardest part of City Skylines for me. It's just starting out, like, it causes me so much stress because it sets the tone for the rest of the city, I find. And you know what? I think we're off to a good start. And then with zoning, you just want to keep your industry and your residential a little far apart. Usually I just throw in some commercial as a buffer and then everything's fine. And then we just have fun from there. And just to start things off here, I think this is going to work out perfectly. So let's press play. Let's watch our city come alive. One of my favorite parts in this entire game, those first few houses coming in, and the first residents moving in, the building animation, so nice. Goodness gracious, look at that. Oh, the little patio on the house there. What a weird looking brick thing. <laughs> and then next door is just a little house with a sandbox. Oh, this, this is lovely. This is lovely. Oh, this guy has a pool? Lucky. And a worthy village already? Goodness gracious, we're blasting through these initial ones. Okay, so we need to make a fire department, a police station. We can make new industries like forest and agriculture. Excellent. And a variety of other things as well. Good, good, good. Main thing though is districts. I want districts in here. And the main reason I wanted districts is because I want to name some of them after you guys. So if you leave a comment, doesn't matter what the comment is, you know, maybe you have a chance of having one of the districts named after you. So this is Belmont Park for now. But hey, later on, could be something different. Who knows? I think if I, like, districted up the entire city, is that a word? District? I don't know. <laughs> but if I do that across the whole city, it'll have, like, all your guys' names, and it'll be really neat. i make, like, custom names for you guys. Yeah. It adds a lot of character, I think. So I hope you guys like that. Anyway though, just did a little bit more expanding here. Just trying to get a feel for how the city is gonna look. I think I am gonna bring the main road just down here. Might do a curve later on, but right now, just a main street straight through this area is gonna be perfect. Uh, that's gonna be for quite a bit later though. Since we are on 900 and something, wow, over a thousand population, 
we do have the parks and plazas unlocked. And I was thinking, since this is the start in the beginning of our city, we should have something quite memorable, right? To celebrate such a momentous occasion. And I was thinking of making like a little plaza or something. And you know what? I think right here is going to be the perfect place for our first park. And I've already gone ahead and made it a park zone. So looking cool, Washington Meadows. Of course, you guys are going to be choosing the name of it in the comments below. You can see that next video. And I tried actually an idea before this admittedly, but it, it didn't really work out. But after looking through a few cities, I saw something really cool. And I want to try and recreate it a little bit. And thankfully, due to some of the mods I've installed, like this surface painter, it just might be possible. So I'm not 100% proficient with this. Like, I haven't used it before, actually. So it might be a little weird. But essentially, the idea is like this. We are going to use the green space as highlights and cover the rest in cement. So, first off, this goes in a square. Okay. We're gonna just cover then most of this in cement. Okay, now that we have our hideous gray square, we're gonna start to make it look absolutely gorgeous here. So we're gonna start deleting some of the cement. And, oh, there we go. And now, you see that? It's like its own little bit of green space in the sprawl. And, oh, that looks really good just being square like that. Hmm. I kind of like that a lot, actually. Ooh. And we can just have little rows like this, essentially, just throughout. Now, I don't know if this is perfect. It looks pretty dang close, though. But yeah, we can have little squares like this, and then, for example, we'll start with these ones. We can add in fences around them. So, just go turn off some grid lines. Just turn them all off, screw it. And we fence it off. There we go. We can change up the fence maybe a little later, maybe a little bit now. Right there to the normal park fence. There we are. And there we go, we kind of have like those cool little areas and we can put some trees in there and it's gonna look fantastic. And if you, I copy that pattern just a few times, whew, we're gonna have a spicy meatball. Okay, so I think we have a little bit of a design here. Not looking too bad, a little plain right now, but if we add in a bit of decoration, it's gonna look fantastic. And oh man, oh man, even with a couple fences and trees already looking significantly better. However, it still kind of looks like, you know, the entrance to an evil prison or something. So we, I think we need to add a little bit more color. Make it look a little friendly here. So that's making it a little bit more lively now. A couple little benches, some flower beds. Added in a nice centerpiece here. Instead of just having the weird green space, that fits in quite well. I'm so happy it looks like differently textured, like the gray is a little different, because, whoo, still a lot of gray around here. Still a lot of gray. And some options are I could just add in some grass around here, but then I have a bunch of paths going around, and I don't want to get rid of those. Perhaps, actually, it might be the best idea to just have some more trees around the edge here. So we just go like this, all the way around. That'd even them out a little bit better there. And then if I erased just right underneath them, that might look pretty cool. So let's just make that grass again. Oh, gotta watch where I'm clicking. Oh yeah. Oh, I think I found our solution, guys. Okay, yeah, there we go. That is exactly what we needed here. Got some shrubs in there too, just to kind of cordon it off. And also, you know, I was looking at this whole thing and it's just so, well it was just so perfect. Not in a good way, it needs some character, it needs some pizzazz. So I just went a little crazy and chaotic with the trees here, just to make it have a little bit more spice. But you know, I still have this feeling that something's a bit off with it. 
Okay, so I was looking at this for a while, and honestly, there was too much gray. I went a little overboard with the concrete. It's my first time using the surface painter, so I got a little carried away. And I decided, you know what? Screw the flowers. We're just going to have nice little bits of green space. And you know what? I'm thinking this is done. And yeah, overall, I have to say, really love this park. I think once all the buildings and high rises come in around it, it's going to look even more fantastic. Anyway, though, I think that is going to be all here. So if you guys enjoyed, again, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And if you have any comments or suggestions for the city, please let me know. I'd love to hear your feedback. And just as a final note, I'll probably be uploading this series once or twice a week. For sure on Sundays. So it could be like City Sundays or something. I don't know. But anyway, that's all I wanted to say here. So have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye bye